Welcome back, everyone. This is Lars Lauren again. Uh, we're going to continue our Let's Play of Commander Keen 1. So, continue game. We're just going to pick right off where we left before. Got five lives. Got a little done over there. And. Apparently, it's the Emerald City. Apparently, Oz is on Mars. Who knew? Well, I guess go in and. Look for the wizard, I guess. Those are some angry looking spikes down there. I didn't think spikes could look angry, but damn, those look pissed off. Hi. Okay, the candy's talking to me now. That's not a good sign. It generally means my medication is starting to wear off. Which means I'm going to need another dose. <laughs> a stronger dose. Well, uh, at least it's not telling me to kill things, to kill people this time. That's always a plus. Last time got messy. And we shall never speak of it again. <laughs> so we're just gonna jump around here, grab some candy, stomp. <laughs> wow! Uh, that was good timing right there. Stomped him right as he was falling off the edge. And. Whoa! Magic nose goblins, I guess. Really evil magic nose goblins. Of death. I'm not gonna attempt it. Whoa! Okay, how am I going over there? And it's on fire! Of course! What self respecting Martian city would be complete without being on fire? <laughs> it's like. <laughs> it's like, what, do they consider it a... Is it a fashion statement here, being on fire? Like an architectural... Like a piece of architecture? <laughs> fire makes any city better. And sure, okay, we'll go with that. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, I know you're in there. Son of a bitch. Gonna sneak up on me. Another extra life, which is good. More extremely angry spikes. And apparently giant baby bottles. I don't know. What the? What was doing down there? Shouldn't it be fire or spikes or something? I heard that. Oh yes. And we've got ourselves new playmates. They a tank robot. You can't kill these things. They just exist and kill you. So we're gonna stay the hell away from it. Can't. I can't what? I can't read this? How ironic is that? Making the pickup for a ten-year-old, uh, for like a ten-year-old kid character, a book. And that, uh, oh Jesus! That is a lot of spikes. A very large amount of spikes. <laughs> I'm not gonna grab that other lollipop. I'm not even sure how they got that there. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> did they did they have to sacrifice like several like? Several candy placement technicians or something to get that there. <laughs> Five brave Vorticons lost their lives that day trying to place the one solitary lollipop floating over the river of death. Go up. Alright. Ooh, bear. Yoink. Right. Avoid the fire. Fire bad. And that guy apparently is just basking in it. <laughs> Dumb shit. He's wandering around in a pit of flames. This guy is... Must be his personal stash or something. I'm thirsty. Give me some of that. I could go for some Pepsi right about now. Too bad I'm on a diet. I can only drink... I can only drink, uh... Diet Pepsi. Oh, Jesus. 
Who's at the top of the evil magic nose goblins? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go right past you. Huh. I don't think we can do the same to this guy. Ooh, bear. Alright, screw you. I'm out of here. Oh, didn't seem to be anything of value in there, apart from candy and bears. Go to the Stargate. Whatever the hell that is. And, uh, oh boy. Okay, I'm saving here. We got ourselves a nice city. Uh, these things are not pleasant. Really, really slippery. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm not even hitting the button right now. He's just moving on his own. And there's a tank robot guarding a single slice of pizza. I don't know, maybe it's the employee's fridge or something. I have no idea. A snow yorp. How the hell did they build that? They don't have any arms. Oh, joy. There's a sound I could listen to all day. I hate those cannons, by the way, anyway. <laughs> Not only do they make an annoying sound, but... Uh, yeah, if they hit you with one of those ice things, it doesn't kill you instantly. It, like, locks you into a freaking, um... Ice cube. And it sends you, like, flying into other hazards. Yeah, you also gotta watch out for those icicles. Those are not decorations. If, if you hit, if you touch those, y you die. Which, considering you're surrounded by, like, aliens and pissed off evil robots and shit like that, that'd be kind of a humiliating way to die. So you survived the hordes of... Survived the hordes of evil, evil robots and aliens and everything trying to kill you, only to get taken out by fucking ice. Good. Oh, there's a couple of butler robots down here. You know, you could be butlering me that soda instead of just wandering around back and forth around it. Do your jobs. Okay, getting back out of here is going to be fun. Oh. Barely made it. I don't think I want to go up there. In fact, I'm pretty damn sure I don't want to go up there. I don't particularly want that book either. You can keep it. Yeah, you can keep it, guy. I don't want that. Oh, yeah. Another one of the other really unpleasant hazards. You can just barely see it, but, like, right under the second railing tile from the left, there's a tiny little crack in the ground. For some reason, you can fall right through that tiny little crack. Like, tiny little sliver of opening, and you can just fall clear through it. Oh, yeah, more Pepsi. I bet, it's <laughs> I bet it's cold, too, in this place. Damn, it's making me thirsty. Oh, joy. Whoa, that was close. Zot. Oh god. <laughs> That's gonna be fun trying to get past these guys. Oh god. Come on, let me through. Stop edge hogging. Oh good. Got the key. Get the hell out of there. Um I could fall down there and grab all those, but then I'd have to come all the way back up. I don't want to have to try and wrestle my way past these guys again. Whee! Oh, that was fun. Now this part is going to be not so fun. Because we have ourselves another another buddy in a blue jumpsuit. Sleep! 
Wow, I managed to take him out pretty fast. I usually wind up getting killed by that guy. Oh, and here we have piece number three, a vacuum cleaner. You'd probably think that with three pieces collected right now, we're pretty close to the end of the game. Well, there's still quite a few more levels to go. The last piece isn't until you get to the very final level. So, we're not quite ready to end it yet. We still got a bit, uh, we still got a few levels to go. So, let's save just for the hell of it. And we're going to this little shrine right here. And it's a nice shrine. Glorious. Oh, joy. Oh, and there's two of them walking around up there. That's fabulous. Two of them are just walking around in there like they're just making me my very own pit of death. Which I'm going to make it a point to stay the hell away from. Because death is not my friend. No, no, no. He, he's definitely not my friend. He's, he still hasn't paid me back the 50 bucks he owes me. And he insulted my mom, so... You know, we're, we're not in good terms. It is the Book of Extra Lives. Okay, so half the level is frozen solid, the other half is on fire. Makes perfect sense. And we got ourselves another little statue here. What do you have to say? Blah, blah, blah. Need to read it in the end, not to shoot the Vorticon. Yeah, that's actually, that's probably the most helpful piece of information here for people who haven't actually played the game. As yeah, you don't you don't beat it in the normal, in the way you would think you'd have to. And we got another shrine here. More candy on the way up. Aliens must have one hell of a sweet tooth. Now those gargs look hyper as fucking hell. They're freaking out and charging at you. They must have been eating it. There must have been more candy in here. They ate it. And there's one of them up there right now. Seems to be guarding some books. I guess. Is that what, what they just assigned some random alien to guard books? Is he the librarian, Garg? Quiet in library. Oh, well, I just shot you in the eye socket, so there. <laughs> books are mine, you son of a bitch. Can't keep them for yourself. And what does this one say? Hidden city, dark area of the city to the south. Yes. Right. So that one's out of the way. I suppose we can take on one more shrine. Let's go for this one here. Oh look, we have a we have one of our little friends here right off the bat. So long, stupid. And of course it's on fire. <laughs> because everyone knows Mars is the the planet of things being on fire. I guess. Hey, free bear. Yoink. <laughs> so do they worship fire in these shrines or something? Is that why all of them are on... What the hell? Oh, okay, this is not the usual statue. Um... Kind of afraid to find out what it says, but... What the hell do you have to say? Garg. Good advice! Well, that wasn't a complete waste of time at all. Um, <laughs> all 
Alright, I suppose now would be about as good time as any to end things, so we're going to wrap it up right here, and I guess we'll catch you guys later, so take it easy, everyone. <laughs>